All right, number one, first way you can make money in high school, pipe fence. Pretty much all over the South and Midwest, anywhere there's cows, ranches. A lot of these uh, farmers and ranches, they like pipe fence. Usually made out of drill pipe. Uh, it's two and three eighths OD or two and seven eighths OD. They make corrals, fencing. It's beautiful. Drive the posts in the ground, weld the side rails on, paint it up, looks pretty, lasts forever. Tons of kids get started in this industry by building pipe fence. The best way to really get in touch if you're uh, in some of these states is drive down the road, talk to ranchers, talk to farmers, post on Facebook. There's there's a ton of different ways to reach these kind of people that are that are needing a pipe fence built for them. Facebook's a great way to reach them. Back in my day, it used to be the Craigslist, but pretty much Facebook Marketplace and Facebook groups, that's how you're gonna reach out. A lot of times, if you just search up pipe fence, you'll find somebody already looking for somebody that can come out there and build pipe fence for them. You can charge like between 30 and 80 bucks an hour, depending on what your setup is. If you've got all your, you know, you got a trailer that you can tow around, that has got a weld machine, a cutting torch, a few odds and ends of tools, you can definitely charge a little bit more money for that. If you don't have any of that and you're gonna be using the farmer's equipment, well, you're gonna obviously get less. But if you don't live in the South or the Midwest, or maybe you live in a state where they just don't have any pipe fence. In idea number two, I'm gonna tell you how you make money. And stay tuned to the very end of this video because I'm gonna tell you the best way in any state as a high school student how you can make money with your welding skills. All right, idea number two, heavy equipment. If you're in an area or part of the country where it's heavily populated and there's a lot of road construction, mining, gravel pits, logging, any of these industries, there's a lot of heavy equipment in there. And this heavy equipment, they're hard on it. And somebody is always needing a welder to work on this stuff and fix it. Generally speaking, it's a little bit lower skill. Hard facing is basically just putting beads on the heavy wear surface of an excavator bucket or dozer blade or a grader blade. And the way that you find these kind of jobs, you just do a Google search of civil contractor or logging contractor or gravel pits and just show up. Show up and say, hey, I'm in high school and I'm learning how to weld and I'm wondering if there's any welding work I can do for you. Most of these guys are gonna be awfully glad to see you and they're not gonna have any problem putting you to work. So a big way to get hired out in the heavy equipment game is take pictures of your work. Take pictures of your welds in high school. When you show up in person to that logging contractor, that civil contractor, or that gravel pit, if you show up in person with your work clothes on, with pictures on your phone of your work, they're gonna hire you. Young people that want to work in this industry and young people that want to work, period, are so few and far between that if you show up with pictures of your work and you're dressed and you're ready to go, they're going to hire you. All right, idea number three. So let's say you don't live in a logging community, you don't live in a populated area, and you don't live in the south and you can't build pipe fence and there's no equipment to weld on. How do you make money? Well, an idea number three is trailers. Look, here's the deal. No matter where you go in the country, there's trailers. And trailers, we throw heavy stuff on them, we haul them down the road, chain binders pulling, holding the loads down. They're always cracking, they're always falling apart. It's just nature of the beast. And if you can go up there and weld new fenders on trailers, you can weld little parts and pieces of the frame. The big concern with the trailer work is you definitely don't want to get into this if you're not very good at welding. If you're really, really unsure if your weld's going to hold or if you're just learning how and you're not sure which process that you need to weld with on the trailer, I wouldn't advise this because if you go and weld the new trailer hitch on, this guy tears down the road and your weld breaks, that could be bad. But little things like new fenders and going around a corner, they take the tail light out on this trailer and they need a little bracket welded on, you know, that's not gonna be structurally critical to the trailer. I would stay away from anything on the hitch, anything in the frame, unless you're getting really good at welding and you're really confident in them. Post on Facebook, post on some social media site, you're gonna find people all over because there's way more people out there that need a welder to weld something than there is people that are willing to go out there and do the work. So back to the same thing with the equipment. You show up pictures of your welds, you show up ready to work, they're gonna pay you to fix their trailer. So 91% of you are getting a ton of value out of this content, but you're not subscribed. I got a big video coming out that you're not gonna wanna miss. So get down there and hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out. All right, so idea number four. I grew up in the Pacific Northwest, 
and we had a lot of this stuff that you could do as far as mining and heavy equipment and the logging community but one of the ways that my buddies made money in high school and they were learning how to weld was welding on winch bumpers so no matter where you live generally speaking you're going to find a group of people that love to go out and four by four their trucks and they want to mount a big old heavy duty winch on that bumper tow themselves up and down these hills in and out of mud pockets they're not looking for necessarily just this super slicked out bumper because you probably aren't capable of building that quite yet but what they do need is what i call gorilla welds make them welds big strong and ugly make them strong make them heavy that way they go to reefing on that truck pulling it up and in and out of a mud hole or something like that it's gonna hold so bumpers great way to make money you're gonna be able to search social media look for people that are for buying they always need something welded on these wheeling trucks all right so that's idea number four okay idea number five this is my favorite you can live anywhere in the country and you can do this and it will pay you art welding art so if you're creative and you want to put your welding skills to use there's a ton of little ideas you can search pinterest instagram and find all kinds of ideas to put together metal art there's a hundred different little ideas of things that you can take metal weld it together throw a little paint on it somebody will buy it there's people all over the place making a killing just by building metal art little things that people want to buy now you got to be creative and you got to think outside the box in order to get this done but you can live anywhere in the country and make a great little side hustle if you're in high school trying to put your welding skills to use and make a little side money all right that's a wrap folks five ways you can make money while you're in high school putting those elementary welding skills to use stay tuned for the next video and i'll see you on the next one